have yeah, yeah, yeah. a scotch tape container. We'll get that as well. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, my intuition was right. Hi there. Welcome back. Today we are on our way to a small town just outside of Saskatoon. Some chalkware fish. Fifteen dollars for this set. And if you don't already know this, I have a bathroom completely full of these fish. So I'm definitely gonna grab this set. I believe these are Miller Studio. Or no, they are favor. So, really nice condition. I think one has a tiny little chip, but I'm definitely going to grab those. And then there's some chalkware fruit. A couple little chips on them, but I'm going to grab these as well. I'm going to grab all of these. Some chalkware owls. There's quite a few chipping on these ones. So, I think I will leave that set. I'm definitely going to grab these and it's a little tiny bit of chipping on this set so I think I'll leave it otherwise I would have grabbed it as well but I think we'll leave it with a few little chips on it oh and look at this another tomato condiment jar and salt and pepper shaker set with the dish for four dollars so we'll grab that and then we have a scotch tape container we'll get that as well <laughs> wow okay well my intuition was right definitely glad I came out here today so we're gonna fill our cart with all those items to start with all right let's we'll see if they have any Coffee cups we can't live without. Love and hugs. That's cute. I love loving you. Ooh. That is Japan. What a vintage mug. It's a little bit of wear on it though. There's a few candle holders here. I don't see any marks on this one. No marks on those ones. Some cute little cow. What are those spoons? Sponges? 
I'm not sure. It's a really nice plate, but it does have a little bit of chipping on it. Salt and pepper shakers. Those are kind of pretty. Tennessee. Oh, I see. Okay. Those are little luster egg salt and pepper shakers. A little bit of pottery here. This is likely McMaster's, possibly. Doesn't have the Blue Mountain Pottery on the bottom, so I don't believe it's Blue Mountain Pottery. It's a little art class project. It's a really nice serving dish. Chip and dip, veggies and dip. There is some a little bit of chipping there. I see a alabaster candle holder, four dollars. Was originally fourteen dollars. That's really pretty. I wish there were two. But I guess we'll pick this one up. For four dollars. And I don't see anything else over here. What do we have here? Some coasters. Made in India. Those are nice, but I really don't need any more coasters right now. Some teak dishes. These look like they would be for, I don't know, possibly corn on the cob. It's only three of those. And then some pear-shaped ones. Cutting board hangs on the wall. That's oh, pretty fun. It's a candle, tea light holder. Hi. I think there's some crackers. Oh, really? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Tex Mex Chili Con Carne. There's some little turtles. That one's cute. Two dollars. And this looks like a German piece. Yes, one dollar hangs on the wall. There's a little bit of chipping around the edges. That's kind of neat for one dollar. We will grab this. There's some necklaces. This one is really pretty. It's made out of shells. And it does appear to be vintage. It has the barrel clasp. It's 50 cents. So we'll grab this one.
This one is vintage. I'm not sure if that is actual real ivory or French ivory. It's really hard to tell. It's a really beautiful piece though. I don't see a price for it, but it looks like most of the necklaces are 50 cents, so we'll grab this one as well. Here's some beautiful material. Looks like it's vintage beautiful pattern on it. This would be perfect for reupholstering a chair or some benches. Six dollars. I think I will pick this up. I've sold a little bit of material in my shop. So. And material is very expensive. Material is so expensive. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Buy it brand new, it's very costly. Yeah, yeah. You sure don't save it. No. Those are some nice, pretty vintage pillowcases for $2. I'll grab those for myself, I think. Here's some Mexican pottery, or no, Italian, I believe. That looks Italian. Oh no, Mexico. a nice dish but that would be a lot for shipping Lord Nelson Pottery England sauce sauce dish it's pretty cute Whales made in Korea. It's a really fun hand painted design. There's a few books here. If we can find any vintage books. Um, I like to find vintage cookbooks or art books. Reference books are always nice to find. Not seeing any here though. The Three Stooges and Our Gang. Oh, is that the little rascals? Love the little rascals. <laughs> that looks like a vintage plushy. Got the anthropomorphic eyes. Super cute. <laughs> Very bright. I don't usually buy plush, but this one's pretty cute. It's a dollar. Oh, I think we'll leave that for someone else. Cute though. Busy box shop. Finger puppets. Little monsters. Those are pretty cute. I just spotted some vintage Tupperware. They are one dollar each. They look like they're in really nice condition. So we'll pick the, these up. There's four of them here. There's also this Tupperware juice pitcher. A little bit of scratching on it. Oh, 
quite a bit of wear inside. I think we'll leave that one. All right, so my total in there was $45 and I got a whole bag of really great vintage items. Super excited about the chalkware fish and the fruit. I love vintage chalkware and our bathroom is completely covered in vintage chalkware fish and different fish decor. So I'm not sure if those are going to go into our bathroom or if I'm going to resell them or change them out for some other fish and maybe sell some fish that I have in my bathroom that maybe I'd like to change out. We'll see. So that is everything for today. I am now on my way to Rostern, so you will have to wait till the next video to see what I find there, another small town. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.